first time. You know, the first time you were there. Humor me. Uh, I was out on Andrew's old sloop. I'd had a bad night. At first, I didn't even know it was him. Remember? I thought he was a Roman, about to ruin my life. <laughs> and what happened next? It was at the moment when I thought my career and my reputation were about to be destroyed. <laughs> Philip just said, come and see. And I did. Look, I, I don't know how to describe it, other than... He knew me before he knew me. I was standing next to John the Baptizer. What? Creepy John. <laughs> and he walked by, like out of nowhere. And John freaked out. He said, Behold, I'm eating a new bug. Yes. He, he was just sitting there, <laughs> eating lunch with all the construction workers, cracking jokes. <laughs> I was uh, on my way to Jerusalem. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> all of this is just. Uh, it's difficult to talk about. Yeah, it uh, reminds me of how much I miss him. But we have to. I know. <laughs> I just, I talk about him to others every day. But uh, it's difficult with all of you. It's, it's different with all of you. Just tell me about the first time you actually saw him. It was in a tavern. <laughs> set his hand on mine. Which isn't what it sounds like. Maybe leave that part out, people will get confused. I don't know yet what I will be including. I'm just writing it all down. Good. It was the fourth morning of the third week of the month of Adar. Sometime during the second hour. It doesn't have to be precise. Why wouldn't it need to be precise? Mine will be precise. My answer might not make sense. Try me, mother. I can hardly remember a time when I didn't know him. There's one little kick. Go on. My son, why are you doing all this? Why now? Because we're getting older and our memories are... I mean, why now? During Shiva. Because everyone is here. I need to get their memories. You need to mourn Big James. He won't be the last of us this happens to. Who knows when I will see the others again, or if. I'm not in a hurry to write a whole book, but I do want to get the eyewitness stories now, while we're together. Isn't Matthew going to write something? He's only writing about what he saw and about what Jesus told him directly. But I was there for things that Matthew doesn't know about. I was in his inmost circle. He loved me. He loved all of you. You just feel the need to talk about it more often. I prefer to treasure these things in my heart.
You know that if you try to write every single thing he did, the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Hmm. A disclaimer. That's good, I'm going to say that. You see, Mother, if I do not write these things down, they will be lost to history. James would agree. Where will you start? In the beginning, naturally. I'm just, um, not sure which beginning. His birth. Earlier. His ancestry? I'm pretty sure Matthew has that covered. But... <laughs> Maybe the prophecies? The promise to Abraham? I thought about starting with Abraham, but still so much came before him. What was before Abraham? Noah. And before him? A garden. A garden. Mm -hmm. well, we could start there. But I wanted to be known that he was much more than what can be seen or, or touched. What was before the garden? In the beginning, the earth was formless and void. I cannot hear it without thinking of you two. I cannot believe how much he put up with. Others, they will not even remember the sound of his voice. They'll just be words. He said they weren't just words, remember? Heaven and earth will pass away. But, but my, my words, words will never, never pass, pass away. away. They're eternal. Think of something. Take your time. I'm off to 